finally some good news yes some good news yes christopher koku rumbo lavia marogosto are all back fully fit into chelsea squad and are likely to start against Sheffield united welcome to bogatos football channel i'm your humble host as usual and um bringing you update concerning chelsea as always so if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel turn on the notification button so that you don't miss out whenever i post new video because your support means a lot to me i'm a new subscriber so i need your support to grow so please let me subscribe please so yeah let's get into it um christopher Okonku, malogosto and um Romulavia are fully back into chelsea's training and we definitely play against Sheffield United. Those are the good news of today because we are tired of all these dead rules player on the pitch and they aren't doing anything. We have the most expensive midfield in Premier League yet. They are not just living up, up to the expectation. Only our midfield alone costs more than 300 million pounds. Only our midfield. Imagine that. So for us to be losing game against uh, Lower team, team that are battling in the lower side of the table is kind of pathetic. But I understand that uh, our coach Pochettino has a blame in it with the way he said he said the player opinion is is that 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 tactic wise. He, he he has some some work to do in the that tactic play. The game management is all that matters. If you are to win game. It depends on how you manage your player on the pitch, the tactics you use. So finally, some good news, and uh, I hope these guys coming to the squad definitely Malagasto will play on defense so that you can return uh, this guy back to our defense. Levi Kowe can go back to defense while Malagasto can play as our left back. Then, if you can take off uh, Casado and put in uh, uh, Romeo Lavia, that also can bring a lot of difference in our midfield. Since Casado haven't lived up to expectation yet, let's give him a few games. Let him stay on the bench, then watch another player play. Maybe he can learn one of few things, you know. We all learn from each other, whether you are older than me or younger than me. We can all learn from each other. Then, drop one of our wingers, either Stanley or uh, Modric. Drop, them, drop, drop one of them, then try and conquer in our attack. Yes, it's a possibility, but I don't know where Pochettino would try to play this guy because he, he can uh, Nkoku can actually play uh, all the position in the front. He can play as a winger, he can play as an attacker, I mean a striker, he can play as an attacking midfielder. So depend on where Pochettino wants to play. I don't care about how he deployed them. I just care about results. Let's get results. Let's play some beautiful football. You know, give us some joy. Us Chelsea fans, give us some joy in the weekend, you know. Yes, give us some joy because we actually need it. We actually need some joy in the weekend. So I hope, I hope we win this game. I, I'm, I'm actually in a good mood for this weekend because it's going to be a great match for us. Conor Gallagher will likely will be the one to captain Chelsea going to the game. Since uh, his team is not around, he's been sidelined. Um, Roberto Sanchez and... Uh, yeah, Regine Roberto Chelsea are all out injured, so we will be the one to captain Chelsea. So I'm predicting 3 1 going to get 3 1 win for Chelsea. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section and drop your scoreline as a prediction. So, without ado, I will see you in the next one. Come on, you blues.